understand by explaining. And that, that's then, of course, when I study philosophy, I realize that's the whole Platonic technique. You know, <laughs> that's the whole way of developing knowledge is by conversation. And, you know, the biggest part. Yeah, and and asking questions and then thinking about possible answers and going on with it. And then when you study poetry, you realize that you can actually start changing the language you're using. And then mathematics invents new language, and that becomes the language of physics. And there's a synergy there. The physics becomes the language of math, and vice versa. They work off of each other. So that's how I arrived here, ultimately, you know? All right. Yeah. So uh, we have one more, one last question here. Uh, you, you, well, you as a teacher, you know how, like, for a student, you feel sometimes you feel uncomfortable about math or science, science classes in general. Yes. What kind of suggestions do you have for us, for students in general? You mean like, like the uncomfortable? Like, oh, it's just too test. hard. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too hard, um, and it takes a lot of study. And well, okay. First of all. What is your motivation? Why are you there? Why are you studying this stuff in the first place? Now, when I was a student, I want to tell you, I never had any doubts <laughs> about it. Not one doubt why I was there. And I've got to tell you, first and foremost, it wasn't because I wanted to get a good job. You know, in fact, I was, maybe that was bad. I don't know. I was a little too naive you know, to worry about it. Uh, I was there for the glory. Of learning and studying these fabulous ideas. That's why I was there. So I never had this concern about this stuff is difficult. The more difficult it was, the more challenged I was, and I just studied harder. You know, so that part of the empathy I, I don't uh, share with with a student that says, "Well, this is just so hard." I'm asking then, why? Well, why are you in this? Is it because you, 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 your parents told you to? Maybe that's a, not a good reason, mm -hmm. or is it because um, you, you, you have some idea about your prof some kind of professional engagement and you think this is important for that, but, but you're not really studying this stuff for its own right, but you're studying for some other purpose. And, and it's because of that disconnect between the purpose for studying it and, uh, and the subject itself that causes this anxiety. If your purpose is to enjoy the thing itself, the thing that's being taught to you, if that's your purpose, in other words, you're living right now, in this moment, instead of it having some future quest, if, you know, we live also in the future. That's not, you know, I'm not knocking that. I, in fact, when I was a student, I was always, my head was in the clouds and, and I was thinking about the future and I was often criticized for thinking too much about the future. <laughs> but but uh, the other thing is, is I really liked the subject that I was studying. And I think that's got to be the ground. I think that's got to be the motivation. You, the student needs to get interested in numbers, in relationships, in functions, in, in the logical connections, in the proofs. If they're not interested in that, it's going to be terribly difficult. Terrible. It's, it's, it's too hard. So. So the, the question I think that you're really after here is, well, how do you get interested? You know? And I think that's a romance. It's, a, it's kind of something that comes out of you in your feelings uh, and your wonder. And you, know, you start asking questions, and you start seeing that some questions can be you know, handled or resolved or worked over with abstract principles. And moreover, by the way, I have to say this too, when you get interested in what it is to be a human being in the history of the world, you see that mathematics is a vital part of that. It's just like the continuum of the, of the history of mathematics from the beginnings right up to the present is unlike almost anything else. And it's a fascinating wonder, too. You, you start saying, OK, I, I like this history. I like these ideas. I have an abiding interest in what makes things work and how things work. Uh, you know, 
what is going on. It's like a, a, I like to say, you know, what is happening? And, and, and when, you, when you ask a question like that, you're expanding your mind immediately, and you want every bit of leverage you can get your hands on to, to access those things. And mathematics is just very well worked out. I mean, it's like the best thing to study. It's been worked out for thousands of years by teachers and students over and over and over again. So when you see a math, when you're in a math class, you're getting something that wasn't just made up on the spot right there. You're getting the benefit of several thousand years of history. I think that's worth something. That's valuable. And, it, and, it's, and, and that's what attracts me, certainly. But I would think that's what should attract every student. You know? So what you have to look. I think every student should have a little courage in themselves. You know? Say, I want to do it for me. It's personal. I want to be involved in the subject. I want to take this class for me right now because I'm interested. And, uh, and if there's something else going on, like, well, your parents are yelling at you or you're scared that you're not going to get a good job or something else is going on, those are the wrong things. And it's going to cause anxiety and, and, and ultimately disconnect. And it, it results, I think, in, in uh, you know, if it, if it persists too long, it, it's going to result in a disaster. What I think happens, though, this is my optimism, is that students might start out not knowing why they're taking a math class. You know, they, you know, they just know, okay, this has something to do with things I want to study maybe someday, and and this is the sequence of things. This is the curriculum. I'm going to take this class because that's part of the process. You don't know really why it's coming from your own heart, but gradually you find out. Gradually, your interests are sparked and developed. And of course, you need an inspirational teacher for that, I think. I think it helps. And I've had a number of them when I was a student that inspired me greatly, and, uh, and I appreciate them uh, every day. And I just hope I can do something similar, you know? And I know I muck it up once in a while, but, you know, that's just part of the process, too. <laughs> you know, we, we just keep at it, and we do our best. And that's the thing about it. It has to be sincere. It's real. It's a connection with the actual art itself, and 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 that's in me, and I try to impart that to my students. So I think that's that's how you get past that you know that anxiety that problem, is you connect with the actual subject, you 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 gain that connection by experiencing it through a teacher, through a channel like that, and you actually get personal, human interaction on this subject. And then you're going to say, say to yourself, hmm, this is real, this is interesting. And then maybe you're going to go somewhere with it, you know? And who knows where that can lead then? See, that's, that's what I mean about the future. The future can be almost anything if you live right now totally in the present. And you open yourself up. Rather than trying to anticipate too much about the future, trying to control it too much, then you're limiting yourself too much. It's limiting. You know, it's kind of like, I'm worried too much about the future, I'm not worried about now. Well, that's, it's, a, it's an illusion. <laughs> you know, so I, I would just, I, I, you know, that's just one way of thinking. So I, I, wanted, I would take that student that has this anxiety and I would shift it and say, don't worry so much. You know, certainly worry a little bit about grades because that's that's right. worth worrying about because after all, uh, if you worry about your grades, you'll probably come to the right decision about how to correct any problems. And they study more, <laughs> you know, study more, and 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 the, and the tests and quizzes and so forth will will show you a little bit about about how effective your studies are. And uh, it's just that's just part of the game, but. But the, the real reason for studying is because you are interested. That's it. That's it. That, and, if, and, and I hope, my hope is as a teacher to get students interested. That's it. That's, 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 the word interest is big. All the other stuff is small in, in my book. Kind of, um, you know, irrelevant almost. Uh, you're getting interest cooking, boy. Now that will cure almost any anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.